Hey, good morning to everybody. Now look what we have here. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to this new episode of Hybrid Solution Diagnostics. Now, this episode is actually going to be super interesting because for the first time in this channel, we are going to assemble a brand new hybrid battery, original Toyota. What does that even mean? Well, we installed it already. Cylindrical batteries, brand new, full tutorial. The next lithium battery, we have a very, very nice extended series. But it's time to give the opportunities to the original one, seal it. So this is actually going to be an unboxing video. I want to take it apart. I want to open it. I want to test the modules and I want to install the battery to see the real performance of the high voltage battery original from Toyota. This one actually came from Japan. I will take my time and show you exactly all this experience. So if you want to know about the original battery, stick around. We will continue then. So I had decided to promote and begin to give it a chance to the original batteries. Open it up, offer this brand new product to all my customers. But before doing that, I have to share this experience to my car, of course. Now, if you guys can see that battery, that is the lithium prototype battery that I've been using. So far, so good. Super amazing results. Pretty nice. But it's time to check the original battery. So let's open it up and let me show you. First thing is first, let me show you the part number. So this is the part number. So this ain't joke, you know, this battery coming directly from Japan. All right, so we got all the parts over here. Let's open it up right away and we'll continue. First thing is first, I gotta take out all these clips. Give me a second in order to open up the box. Here we go, here we go. Coming out, hey, hey. hmm, Let's see what's that? Hmm. Okay, one more. And that's it. We can open it up. Give me a second. Ah, remember, guys, that I'm doing this with one single hand. So get out of here. There you go. That's it. Look. Oh, beautiful. Directly from Japan. New battery. Now, as you can see, this is the flathead batteries. Okay. So let's not waste any time. Let's finish to open it up. We'll continue. Here, here. Yeah. She's actually pretty well secure in this box. Very, very secure, actually. Here we go, give me a second. You have to remember that the nickel metal hydride batteries, they're quite, they're quite heavy. So here we go. That's it, okay. Let me take off the box. Repair, maintenance, staff, okay. Showing us exactly, okay, no, this is just basic instruction. It's coming with the sensor, the temperature sensor connector, this is actually great, eh? Let's continue. Give me a second. All right, let me see. Okay, a quick description of what we have here. As I said, current sensor. It has all the cables. This, oh, this looks beautiful. All the connections, brand new, you know. Of course, it's quite safe because remember, the circuit is open. Cables, let's see inside. But you, I'm not going to waste the time. I'm going to open this. I'm going to check them. I want to open the box and I want to check the serial number. So let me open it up and I'll show you. All right, so we open it up. And as you guys can see, these are the flat type of modules, okay? These are Japanese modules, so yeah. Follow, it, it, they don't follow exactly the same pattern of the serial number, but they all match, which is great. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to open this battery. This is my, this is my battery, as you can see, it's using the lithium battery. All right, as you can clearly see, well, these two batteries are quite different, all right? Now we're gonna pass the battery management system, okay? The cooling fan, of course, and the junction block from this battery to this brand new original Toyota hybrid battery for Prius C and Aqua. Here we go. Did I even mention that one of the biggest secrets to keep these batteries alive is just keep it clean inside? Well, look, absolutely no dust and debris. Remember, this is my battery. That's how it is. All right, let me open my battery. Hey, look. She's looking as beautiful as it gets. So let me take this out. Give me a sec. All right, the remove. I can take out the junction block now. All right, here we go. You're going directly to the brand new battery. Here we go. We haven't even checked the bus bars of the new battery. So let's open it up right away. 
All right, let's see what we have here. Let me see, let me see. Oh, this is looking as beautiful as it gets. I was going to actually put the nickel, but no, 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 no. Look, this is incredible, as good as a new. Especially the cables, everything is as good as new. So definitely one of the beautiful things in the hybrid battery. New is new, that's how it is. So as you can see, I already took out all the accessories from my lithium battery. I installed the computer over here, so it's time to plug it in. Here you go, it's beautiful as it gets. I'm going to install also the battery management system. The cable is a little hard because remember it's new. And then the service plug grip cable that goes something like this. So let me just install it. That's it, the clips are on. So what I have to do is just look. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm actually very, very excited because it's actually the first time uh, that I'm installing into my car, at least a Toyota original hybrid battery. So this is quite an experience that I wanted to share with you guys before we are going to begin promoting this battery. Heavy, heavy, but I'm quite curious. What will be the real capacity of this battery? Hmm, hold on and let's check it out. In the meantime, if you're liking this content, don't forget, like and subscribe. You gotta support the channel. Hybrid Solution Diagnostic is the channel made for you. So we will continue then. We also going to assemble the battery air inlet, which goes like this, so I can connect now my current sensor and my intake air temperature sensor. You have to remember that this battery, new battery, brings all the sensors together. Now let me put the little clip over here, give me a second, that's it, secured, that's it. And my fan, look at my fan, as beautiful as it gets, here we go. That's it. Let me just secure it and then we will continue. So before we continue, I'm kind of wondering, is this battery in balance? Let me take out the boss bar from the other side and let's measure the individual voltage of the module. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of accessories over here. But I want to open this side. Let's see. You see, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, no, 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 no. This is like too much with too much beauty. So what I want to do is, I want to measure the voltage of the individual module to see if this battery is in balance by chance. Let's continue. I actually didn't want to bore you guys measuring voltage of the individual modules, but this battery is showing me 7.84 per module, which is telling me that it's truly fully charged and in balance, which means that I am very excited to see the power of this battery. So let's assemble back and we will continue then. So without wasting any more time, it's time to assemble all the plastics. Let's see, everything is secure over here. Good to go. Let's go to the other side. Have you seen such a beauty like this? <laughs> all right, the other top cover. There it is. The other one, last one. That's it. All right, let's continue then. So without wasting any time, this is ready. Let me just put back the case and we will continue. There she is, completely assembled and ready to install. So let's go. Inside the cabin, it's fully serviced, clean it as good as it gets. So it's time to install. All right, how's she looking? How's she looking? <laughs> as good as new, right? <laughs> now, without wasting any more time, let me assemble the frame, the seat, the covers, all those kind of things. And I want to heat up this battery right away, go take it a ride to heat it up some, sh some give it some cycles and do the state of health test to see how much power these brand new Toyota batteries are going to give to your car when you're installing original Toyota hybrid battery. So we're almost done, let's continue. There it is, as good as it gets. But before starting the vehicle, I need to hook up my scan tool and reset all the values. I also have to reset the current sensor. So, okay, ignition on. So let's now go to health report. Let's read all the modules. I haven't turned on the vehicle yet. The reason is uh, because uh, I'm going to reset the current sensor and all the adaptive values of the high voltage battery system. Remember that this is a new battery. It has more capacity. So we want to recalibrate everything, okay? So we were expecting absolutely no codes for, but before we go, we're gonna go to hybrid control module first, all right? Let me show you exactly what to do because the thing is, if you're installing a new battery and you don't tell your computer you're installing a new battery, you could the computer could be used that the battery has low capacity. So it's not going to give you the very may, the very best range that you should. So here's what you gotta do. Go to special functions, go to initialization. There you go. Welcome to the current sensor initialization. Now this function used to reset learning value of the hybrid control is you when replacing the battery current sensor. Press okay to proceed. 
ignition on give me a second there it is initialization is complete that is absolutely absolutely everything tell your computer that you have a bigger battery with more capacity so time to start the vehicle so without wasting any time here we go there it is we are in ready mode now but then i'm not going to use uh, launch to monitor the battery how it behaves let me hook up dr prius okay this is live this is the first reading that i'm getting from the battery okay let's check the voltage how we're doing <laughs> let's see what pattern are we getting right now that now that remember the vehicle is in ev mode at the moment and you can clearly see what's going on here we have a battery with absolutely the most capacity as it gets but what i'm really going to do is Ah, oh, remember that this is a new battery, so you cannot just do the life expectancy crap test right away. No, no, no. You got to drive the vehicle for a few miles, okay? Make the battery heat up because remember, it's high current flow. So you cannot, you cannot just push it right away, injecting all that bunch of currents to the battery. Otherwise, it's, you can damage. I'm not saying that it's definitely going to be damaged, but don't push it. A battery needs to be good treat. So in this case, we're just going to drive the vehicle for a little while. And then after we come, the battery is heat up. We can do the life expectancy test to see what's the real capacity of this battery. So we will continue then. I don't want you and I don't need you anymore. So it's time to take you for a ride. Yes, well, in the beautiful streets of the Caribbean. Let's see. We just recently went out to the battery. So we got to definitely heat up this battery a little bit more before doing any type of capacity test. So hold on. Yes, yeah, so we've been driving the vehicle for a little while in EV mode to allow the battery to cycle, charge and discharge for a few times to give a lot of current uh, back and forth. And yes, yeah, she fully discharged now, so the engine starts. So it's time to do the capacity test. Let's see how much power this battery gives us. So we're almost done. Let's continue. So yes, the battery is heat up pretty well okay over 35 33 celsius so that's it the battery is in operating temperature let's just do the capacity test right away all right so she allowed me to charge the battery to 75 percent now it's time to do the test so we're just gonna have to stick around until she reaches okay keep it here in 6.5 and hold on for 15 minutes yes the life expectancy test is just a overall state of health test that you do to the battery, okay? Now, in this case, I don't really like so much the percentage, okay? Because that's relative. I like time. I like to discharge the battery at 6.5 amps exactly. And the battery should hold for over 15 to 18 minutes. Now, this one is a brand new battery. How long is this battery going to take being 100% in balance and a brand new with absolutely no cycles? Oh, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh. ha hold on so at this moment 15 minutes has passed since i begin to discharge my battery from over six amps from its maximum point and we still have almost 10 percent to go which is telling me clearly that it doesn't matter the percentage that i get i do my life expectancy test against time i'm most interested against time so she lasts more than 15 minutes this battery is truly in great condition. So it doesn't matter. We have to wait. What will be the result once we finish the test? So I'll share with you guys. Just hold on. So more than 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes, and still she's holding pretty well. Whoa. She's taking forever. She's taking forever to discharge. Oh, so... We're almost done. Hold on. <laughs> so a little over 20 minutes. The test is over. Let's see. 108%. Here we go. What were you guys expecting? It's a brand new battery. Came from Japan directly. It's the original battery. This battery is powerful. It's original. It's in balance. New is new, guys. Now, that's all strongly my recommendation that sometimes you want to go uh, a little cheaper with the aftermarket. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of market about hybrid batteries uh, that you could be able to install. But we already did the series about the cylindrical, the foreign use one, the Nexel battery, which is, of course, super strong as well. But the original battery 
is the original battery. So we're very happy with this test. The, it, it took a pretty long to discharge, more than 20 minutes, which is great at 6.5 amps, which is telling us that this was an amazing, amazing battery installed into my car. I'm very excited how much range it's gonna give me. But from now on, this battery is officially part of hybrid solution and diagnostic, whether it's for Aqua, whether it's for Prius C, whether it's for the Prius, the Noah, the Voxy, the Mazda 3, okay? We have it here for you. So thank you so much for watching. Hybrid Solution Diagnostic is a channel made for you. Don't forget, follow and subscribe. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.